difference. And you all now have to agree to that. So, um, so I sent everybody on the team this month a packet. Um, so hopefully you got your meeting packet. Um, and um, Jill asked me some really good questions about mailing and shipping. She was like, whoa, she's like, how did you get that? in that package and what did you tape this with and how much did this cost? And so um, I'm gonna actually pull the chart out real quick. So when you, um, and this will probably change, but right now um, on, um, Candy has this document. I'm pretty sure it's on the Southern Sweet Stampers but there's a document on her um, page that talks about, and I think she just printed this from USPS, but it has like, you know, if there's a letter and it weighs, you know, one or two or three, you know, um, like this is how much it costs, or if it's a large envelope, you know, this is how much it costs. So, but kind of the sweet spot is like keeping something, you know, maybe two, three, four ounces but still keeping it letter sized. Um, and these were two ounces um, and it included the three cards and the envelopes in plastic, which we've learned is important because of the rain. Um, and it just costs a dollar twenty. Now on pirate ship, you can't mail large envelopes. You can only mail parcels. So if you use pirate ship for your shipping, this was going to charge me like 330, 340 to ship. And I was like, you know, I'm sending it to 29 people. I want to be smart about it. So I ended up going to the post office because our post office here in Dripping Springs does not have a machine. So I couldn't go like get my stamps in the machine. Wow. So I had to go and talk to somebody. And, um, and he said, he goes, did you know that the international stamps are $1.20? Cause he like oh. handed me a whole bunch of these. And I was like, Oh, I didn't know that. And I was like, well, I always have some of these around cause I'm always shipping stuff to like my family and stuff overseas. These are a dollar 20. So if you're keeping your packages to a dollar 20, then these international stamps will work, which is really cool. So, um, what do you yeah. use to weigh it? I use, um, like a weight watcher scale. <laughs> okay. So. Good to know. <laughs> Yeah, if you have any kind of like food scale in your kitchen from losing weight or not losing weight, um, gaining weight doesn't really matter. <laughs> it will work. A meat scale, whatever you've got. Um, but yeah, I just use that, and um, and you you want to mail it like with whatever wrapping you're doing, and then I just use packing tape, like clear packing tape. So, um, but. Yeah, so I just kind of wanted, now I know that the postal rates are gonna go up, so I know that's a big deal. The other thing that they that they look at to see if it qualifies as a letter versus, or a large envelope versus a parcel is the thickness. Um, and you might recognize this. Yeah. <laughs> this punch is our, well, it's that label punch that we had, that narrow label punch. Mm -hmm. And so I just punched it a bunch of times and it's the right thickness. So you can take your item and you, if you can slide it through, then it counts as a large envelope. <laughs> if you can't slide it through, then it counts as a parcel. Um, and they have their own measurer. And so when I took this, the guy was one thrown off by the clear envelope, which is totally legal. You can ship things in clear envelopes. And then two, he like got out his little measurer and he's like, you know, trying. And I was like, oh, I was like, I have one of those at home and I already did it and it works. And he was like, he's like, he's like, you're right. It does. You know, <laughs> I was like, I know you're going to try to charge me more than I need to pay, you know, but, um, yeah. So I know the rates will go up in August, um, for packages and letters and everything too. And I'll, um, whenever we get the updated rates, um, I'll do that. If I, I have this printed, but if I'll, I'll see if I can find it electronically and I'll try to put it in our group. Um, so, cause I had gotten it from candy, but, um, yeah, if you've got this punch, this classic label punch, which I think is retired now, um, you can make your own little slot. Hey, Melissa, are bubble mailers considered parcels? So if it fits through here, it could be a letter. If it's a bubble mailer, most likely it's going to be a parcel. 
because it's going to be too thick to get through the slot. Okay. Cause this seems super thin to me and it would probably fit through that, but it has to be like clear. Like it, it had to clear that line, right? The bubble mailer does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the width. Um, so the, the width is actually, that's interesting. So it can be, that's my second page of this. It can be okay. six, six and an eighth by 11 and a half. Huh. So it can be pretty large in order to be, mm -hmm. and it just has to be, it's a fourth of an inch thick is what it says. Um, but, um, I have found that this classic label punch makes the perfect slot and it's the same size as theirs. So, so uh, what really makes the difference is it has to be a fourth inch thick and how many ounces it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the max mm -hmm. ounces to be considered a letter? The max is, well, so it goes up to, to be considered a large envelope, a flat, large envelope, it can go up to 13 ounces, mm -hmm. but yeah, so that would be 340. But at that point, you're probably like a small parcel anyway on, on package. Right. There's kind of like a cut point where like it becomes more advantageous to mail it through pirate ship. Do you know what the, do you have an idea what that cutoff is? I that think sweet it's, spot? probably somewhere like over 10 ounces is going to be like the cut spot but generally like your packages like your card packages and your card classes and stuff aren't going to be that much um and then like i mailed my class so this is my class packet for this month it's in a poly mailer right um but no, no, go. I mean, it goes, I mean, it goes, Please. <laughs> it's, it's tight <laughs> and it's, it's, it's going to have a real hard time getting out on this side, you know? So for this one, I just did pirate ship and it was like three thirty-five or something like that. So, um, and I find that if you package the cards in the envelopes like this, they won't get bent up. You know, if you package them where they're flapping out like this, this, this has more of a chance of getting bent or injured, you know, so. Uh, so on that note, we've got a couple of projects. Um, so I want to show you guys what we've got. So uh let's see all right we've got three envelopes this is one this is the green one so i'm going to show so sorry i pulled too much stuff out now i've got stuff all over my desk that's what happens all right so there's a bright green one a grand apple green so this is um my try it class so what this means is we're trying different designer series paper where uh, maybe I'll show them a fun fold. Um, this could be like a free class that you mail to people with an order. Um, it's meant to be something fun and um, not, you know, not hard for people. So, hey, Charlene, welcome. Hey, Terry. Hey, guys. I'm going to show the, um, the, the cards and then we'll do intros and stuff. So it gives everybody time to get on. So... Um, so this one's pretty easy and I'll show you the inspiration card that I had for this one. So I'm going to glue down these two side flaps. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of them. And then I'm going to, so this is that fun hostess paper, the pattern party. Is that what it's called? Yes. Pick a pattern, pattern party. I don't know. It's that ginormous stack of hostess paper. And I like this fold because you can show off a couple of cute pieces. And so then we're going to put the fun pattern in the middle. This is going to be a, this is not a quiet card. Let's just say that. Pattern party. Pattern party. There we go. All right. And then... I'm going to put the white piece on the inside, right? So we've got this. I'll pin myself. Then pin, spotlight, spotlight. There we go. Um, so we're going to put the white piece on the inside. 
And then I try to make when I'm mailing like packets, free packets, whatever, I'll try to make this generic enough that they could stamp any kind of a sentiment. So they can literally stamp anything they want and put that over here. You can just pop that up with dimensionals. Um, so the inspiration for this card, I actually got two cards to show you. So I got two cards that used this fold in my last leader swap. Um, I like the you're absolutely amazing. I think it fits really well on that postage piece, but they're both built differently than the way I built them, which is really interesting. So this one, it's hard to tell, but they did a whole piece of DSP back here. And then this piece they put on top. So they made a piece that was, you know, two and three quarters by eight and a half and then they scored it in the middle and put it on top of the designer series paper which I thought was interesting and I hadn't seen this fold done like this um, I've always done it like this um, and then the other way that they did it someone else did it also very cute but also completely different <laughs> was that she made a piece that went on top of this and she hid her flap behind here. So this purple is a flap that goes all the way underneath here. You can't see it, but she hid it. Mm -hmm. That one was really cute too with that little gingham. But I've never seen them built so differently. Like I've never seen this one fold done three completely different ways. Um, so I want to just show you kind of some options and, um, and also give you a chance to get to see some of these fun. This is the card that inspired the, the combination just because I thought he's a really fun party puffin. Um, but I didn't want to, um, you don't have to make it a puffin card. You can make it whatever you want. So I thought I would show you that. Um, so that's one of the cards this month and you can make it your own. And I want to um, see you guys make it your way. Like once you stamped it, um, one of the other cards in your packet. So there's one in a cream and then there's one in a white, the one in the white, everybody got different colors, but it uses the designer series paper from the pansies. There's all that really cute gingham in there. And there's like the fresh freesia. And then there's also the succulent. Um, and so what's nice about that is that you're going to, hopefully you have a chance to kind of show off stamping on DSP. Because that's something that not a lot of people know that they can do is that they can just stamp on the DSP and they can make a really cute card um, really simply by stamping on the DSP. So I think you guys either got pale papaya or you got soft succulent or you got fresh freesia as your card for that one. Um, yep, so everybody got a different color. So, so all you're gonna do is just stamp on top of that with whatever stamp set you have. And then you're gonna just mount it with your black and then mount it on the front of your card, super simple. Um, so these cards aren't meant to be hard, but they're also, but they're meant to kind of show some new stuff you know, maybe a new fold or a new technique. And we think like, oh, stamping on DSP, but lots of people have never done that. You know, they don't know what to do with DSP. Um, so, um, so cool questions, comments. Cool. All right. That's easy. And then the last one is the, um, the very vanilla card base. And this one, I've got a finished one to show you. And then I've got kind of like a in, in progress. So this one is that really cute corner, that scallop die that so many of us have been using, <laughs> which I really do love. Um, and then I just did a monochromatic stamping. So I stamped a flower in gray. Um, I did this in basic gray. I stamped off for the flower. And then I stamped just on, you know, regular strength for the little sentiment. And then I just attached my DSP. Now you guys got, there was some shimmery DSP, some, yes, yeah, some bling bling. Um, Cause you know, 
you got to have a little extra, extra, right? That stuff is so shiny. <laughs> it could knock you out. Uh, so this, and then I think a few people got a different sheet um, because I was cutting and I was like, all right, 29 packets is a lot. Oh, but I have two of these here. So if you're dying and you really wanted a piece of this, you know, let me know. Um, but yeah, really easy. Hmm? Elegant. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Elegant, whatever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is not, I mean, so I didn't use anything else from the suite in here, right? I'm just using the paper, um, but showing people how you can mix and match and, you know, use the stamps you have, right? Um, and, you know, if you have an old paper pumpkin stamp, you could send an old paper pumpkin stamp set in an ink spot or something, right? Like, you know, lots of ways to get people crafting. Um, and the other thing I'll just encourage you about that large pack of paper, um, so, you know, this is more paper than any of us could ever possibly use in our lifetime, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, and I know you just want to hoard it, um, but, uh, and it's perfectly fine to hoard the Buffalo check pieces. I support your commitment to the Buffalo check pieces. So don't worry, Kathleen, I know, hearts to that. But let's say you're going through here and you're like, hmm. I don't know what I would do with X, right? Like you're, you find a piece. So for me, this would be a piece that I don't know what to do with. Uh, I don't do animal prints, um, but guess what? I had a lady this weekend who was like, I wanna make this project. And she found a project in the catalog. And, she, and she, she's like, I wanna make 20 of these. And what do I need to do to make it happen? And I was like, oh, <laughs> so she wants to make 20 of these little purses. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. The, yes. Yeah. Mm. And so I was like, okay, well, you're going to need this paper <laughs> and you're going to need a die set and you're going to need a machine. You're going to, right? So, but luckily her friend has a machine, right? So like they're all kind of pooling. And I was like, well, if you buy the dies and you buy the crumb cake cardstock that you need, I will happily give you my pink cheetah print sheets that I'm never going to do anything with. And she was like, sold. And I'm like, all right, there you go. Right. So, I mean, that's how, you, that's how you do it. Right. Like she placed, you know, she went from placing like a $25 order to placing like an $80 order because she set her eyes on some project she wanted to make. And I'm like, all right, I don't care. Like I've got three packs of this stuff here and I'm not going to use this paper, you know, so go to town, you know? So think about how you can share this paper with people, right. Who might want to do something really fun with it too. So, cause there's no reason why you can't give some of this away. Jill, you got a question. I do. Um, I haven't gotten the dies yet for the scalloped edge. How does that go through the uh, big boss? Yeah, really smooth um, this way. Let me show you. Yeah, please do. Cause I, I haven't messed with it yet. And it's one of the things I'm looking to purchase. Yeah, so the scallop contour dies. Um, so I did buy the stamp set because I don't know, it was in the pre-order and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll use it. I like the sentiments in it. I don't really like the flowers, but I like the mm -hmm. sentiments. Um, but this die is the edge die. Oh. And so when you're cutting, like we did for that card, this, then all you do is, you know, Cut it where you want. Mm -hmm. and then just okay. run it through and because I can't run it through sorry because I can't run it through this way I had to run it through this that way, way. Mm -hmm. okay. yep and then what I did is like I knew I wanted this to be about x width right because I knew I needed about a you know two and a half inch piece you can butt this edge up really close to the edge so if I was going to die cut this side mm -hmm. I can go like right on the edge and it'll just cut it out perfect so okay. um so if you're thank thinking you about measurements yeah mm -hmm. this has been a very versatile set 
Um, there's that stamp one set's growing on me though. I will say that the stamping it in black has been really it's unique cute. to see. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cute. Yeah. The only die in here that I think is a little strange is this one because this actually cuts a slit. So there's like this line. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Where's the camera? So there's actually like, it cuts like a slit and a slit and a big slit and it just cuts these slits and they're really weird. Um, and I checked with other leaders cause I was like, is it just me? Did I get a defective one? They're like, nope, that's what it's supposed to do. And I'm like, okie dokie. Um, and so I guess you could run ribbon through it or something maybe, like maybe there's a really cool way to use it, but it's definitely not what I thought was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna emboss it. I did not think it was gonna cut it. So, um, but all the other ones have been pretty standard operating you know, procedure, so. And I haven't used these guys at all, um, but I've used these a lot. So um, this one gets a lot of action, so. <laughs> um, cool, okay. So those are the three cards for this month. Um, and I just wanted everybody, I just wanted to say thank you. You guys are awesome. It has been, May was quite the, quite the month for the team. Um, we had a lot of, um, a lot of great stuff going on. Um, and I will definitely give some kudos to everybody. Um, and then, um, next month, I'm looking at my planner. Um, I can I'll unspotlight this. Um, remove that. Okay, great. And then hopefully yeah, gallery. Okay. Um, so kudos wise, um, we had four people in May for the month of May who were over $500 in sales. Um, so Patsy Palmer, yay. And Crystal so yay. And Carolyn Hood, yay. Carolyn couldn't be here tonight, but she's doing great. And then um, Sarah Cuomo, yay. yay. <laughs> so each of, each of them gets a $5 coupon that you can use towards product or classes um, that I host, including the monthly packets that we do. Um, and then I upped the recruiting deal, which I'm now maybe regretting. And so for every recruit you get, you get $10 in coupons. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Sarah's like, I just did the math on that. So <laughs> Sarah had five recruits in the month of May. So do the math there. Um, <laughs> and I already owe her a bundle because she promoted to Silver Elite. So Sarah, we're so proud of you. Yay. Yay. <laughs> And welcome to everybody from her team. And if you're watching the recording later, welcome as well. Um, so I'm Melissa Thomas and this is C2C Stampers. Um, we've got people all over. Um, and we've got a lot of people tonight who are watching the recording. Um, I've gotten a ton of messages. I know people are traveling in the summer. Summer gets a little wild, um, but um, I'm going nowhere. So, uh, <laughs> so I'll be here. Uh, you're, um, you're going to your new house. <laughs> yes. I am in the new house, which is great. We're in the new craft studio. It's great. I'm happy. Um, been crafting a ton. So, um, so I wanted to give everyone a chance to introduce themselves if you're here. Um, and then, um, Sarah, for your new team members that aren't here, will you just like briefly introduce them too? Um, and then I will, um, because I'm not showing anything else on my, on here, I'm actually going to like unjoin for my camera, but, um, I'll have everybody. So I'm in Dripping Springs now. I'm not in Austin, I guess, technically, which is kind of weird, but, um, <laughs> it's like strange, but um, we moved out here in May, um, but before this, we were in Austin for four or five years, and then before that, we were in Charleston, so South Carolina. So um, welcome, everyone. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to go who I've got on my screen, so I get to call you in order. So Mona, that means you're next. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, me? I'm yeah. Mona Ulrich, and I live in Georgetown, Texas, and I'm one of Sarah's recruits. <laughs> and we took we had a very hot and and 
sweaty day today because we, yes, we did. <laughs> so uh, that's why I was a little late because I actually fell asleep <laughs> because it was so yeah, hot. A little nap too. <laughs> <sighs> so yes. Do you want to do um do you want to go down the line, Melissa, or do you want um you want me to introduce other people? Um, yeah. Okay. And then Kathleen, you're next on my screen. Awesome. Howdy, everyone. Uh, my name is Kathleen and I'm in Austin, Texas, originally from Michigan. Uh, I joined Melissa's team right before the pandemic. Uh, January is my start date. So I've been around for just over a year now. Um, and I am obsessed with gingham. So every time Melissa makes fun of the 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 black and white gingham or the the patterns the plaid patterns uh that's because i have an unhealthy obsession with uh gingham so there you have it i also really like lemons as a fun fact so uh, after july 4th i put out all my lemon decor uh and i am determined to make a lemon uh home decor piece this year mm -hmm. i have some leftover pieces from a paper pumpkin that was in the past and i i didn't open it i didn't use it i hoarded it shocker uh so yeah so lemons and gingham are my jam. We, we nice support your unhealthy, uh, unhealthy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Patsy Palmer. Hello. Hey. I'm Patsy Palmer and I live in Coppers Cove, Texas. And June 29th is my five year anniversary. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's so amazing. <laughs> hey, we got someone else here. Hold on. Yay, mommy. <laughs> I'm a visitor. Five years, ready? Five years. That's so crazy. Yeah. What, what started as, so that's my mother-in-law, for those of you that don't know, and what started as, uh, we'll just stamp and travel together turned into, you know, a bigger deal. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's awesome. I'm turning off my video so you don't see me eating my dinner because it's I'm not pretty on camera. So just, <laughs> but I'm still here. Um, so Patricia, your camera's off too. And I know you're doing grandbaby stuff. So if you need to skip or I can, or if you want to turn your camera on. Patricia has her granddaughter, Pepper. Oh, there she is. All right. You're still muted, but I appreciate you. You're muted, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> This is Pepper, and uh, we're in Austin. I'm originally from New York, and then I went to Maryland down here in Austin. Um, I joined last year, September, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, and I was getting, you know, tired and wanted something to do more. But I joined um, Melissa's group uh, maybe like in March or April of... Um, Right of thirteen of um twenty nineteen nineteen yeah yeah oh. right and I go to the senior center classes also oh. once a month mm -hmm. so we're enjoying it and um, I've been a little slow doing stuff because Pepper keeps me busy <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay right Pepper she's a <laughs> she is so cute. <laughs> We'll give you a pass anytime for her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jill, go ahead. My name is Jill and I'm from Austin, Texas. Um, I joined uh, two and a half years ago, I think, if I got that right. Mm -hmm. And um, been getting back into my business lately since after having some issues with health and stuff. So I'm trying to get back into my swing and uh, working on building a team. So that's me. Yay, Jill. And Crystal is her downline and so is yes. um, Brenda. Brenda, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Brenda's great. She does awesome too. So you have great teamies. So yep. hey, hey, Terry, Terry, you're next. Mm -hmm. my, my name is Terry Bouquet, not Bucket, but Bouquet. Mm -hmm. And I am in St. Louis, uh, area, St. Louis, Missouri. And I just in June hit May, hit my third year with Melissa. Ooh. Let's see. 
uh, life is good. I'll see most of you at retreat. Yeah. And Terry, who's on your team? Remind us, because you've got four on your team now. I have four. Um, uh, actually, in the after party, I will share. Marilyn is feeling really ill, but Marilyn is still with us. And she's my best friend in the whole word world. And then there's Casey. Mm -hmm. And um, is Casey here tonight? I, I didn't He's get a not. chance. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so Casey, she was my uh, recruit. Mm -hmm. And then um, I have Denise Pickens. Mm -hmm. And she's from uh, another town, about eight towns away from me. And then there is Rita Wiggins. Mm -hmm. Now, all of these girls, none of them are my next door neighbors. They all come from small towns in Illinois or from uh, Maryland actually is like almost three hours away. So uh, yeah, everyone's everywhere, but it kind of fills out Melissa's goal to have a team from C to C. So I'm doing my part, Melissa. I've got several people, several places. You are. So, one hundred percent. I um, I'm looking for that California demonstrator. I got to get someone on the West Coast, y'all. Like we gotta we gotta get somebody in on the West Coast, you know. So make that happen. I'll, I'll reach out. And the name <laughs> the name of my team is Sea Island Stampers because we're an island of Melissa's team. <laughs> Which yeah. just cracks me up. I love that name. It's so cute. So well, good job, Charlene. You came back just in time. So welcome back. <laughs> Oh, had to get a toy away from the dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's my nephew. <laughs> Destroyed another one. <laughs> I am um, I'm Sarah's good friend and uh, just joined this past month. I live here in Hutto, Texas. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but I, have, I have been doing stamping up. Um, cards and classes and, and clubs um, for a lot, a lot of years since like 2003. Mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of took a couple years off when my friend, my best friend who was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator moved to Tennessee. And, uh, but I was really happy to find Sarah and um, do a club with her. Many of us come back several times. <laughs> So that's awesome to hear. Well, Sarah, who else is from your team isn't here? <laughs> okay. So um, Barbara is uh, my silver demonstrator who just promoted pretty recently. Um, she has a recruit um, and her recruit, I'm just looking at her report, is Janet. Um, who I don't think is here either, but um, so Barbara's in uh, Nebraska right now, um, finalizing her mom's estate and everything. She had to drive back and forth a couple of times this month, so she wasn't able to join. Um, but I also have Sarah um, Santora. She does have a last name. She goes by Sarah Bright on mm -hmm. um, Facebook, but um, we also call her Rainbow Sarah because she usually has rainbow colored hair. I think it's purple right now. Um, and so um, Mona's on. Michelle Brown is in uh, Liberty Hill. Um, she wasn't able to join tonight. And Rachel McGinty is also in the Liberty Hill area, as well as Bonnie Bostic is in Liberty Hill. So that's my little group from there. Mm -hmm. um, I have one other person in that area. So um, Rachel is usually the person that um, comes to pick up stuff and brings it back for the four of them. So um, I'm really thankful that she's been doing that. And that's everybody, I think. Yep. Yay. And let's have a round of applause for Barbara too. Yay. Yeah, Barbara. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a it's been a busy um, it's been busy. I forgot to put Barbara on that list, so I need to do that. Um, like I was looking at promotions and was like, oh, what's happening? Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so yay! Mm -hmm. um, all right, Kim, I think you're up next. Go for it. Hey, I'm Kim. I live in the Washington D.C. area. I've been a demonstrator with Melissa since February 2017. So yeah, I'll hit five years next February. Oh. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It all started because of Paper Pumpkin. 
And then I wanted the discount. (laughs) (laughs) And that's okay. (laughs) All good. Um, But yeah, no, it's been fun. I um, just love playing with colors. And so it's just been just a really good group of ladies, lots of creativity um, and just always a good time. Yay. Kim, we're so happy to have you. You and your calligraphy is so pretty. I always feel blessed when I get a piece of it. I'm like, okay, should I save the envelope? Where should I put it? You know, like I always keep it. So, um, well, I'm so excited. Um, there's definitely some news. Um, if you didn't check the updates today, um, which you might not have because today is not a normal update day, um, there's a free shipping day on Thursday. Yay! Um, so if your order is over $50 or your customer's order is over 50 free shipping, which is great. Um, my class is on Friday. <laughs> say what? So my class is on Friday. I know. So one of the things that people are saying is like, you know, if the timing isn't great, go ahead and open up a hostess code though, and let people know like, Hey, there's free shipping on Thursday. If you just want to go ahead and place your order now feel free. Right. Um, and I love that, um, Sarah is new in our Stampin' Up! Leaders group. So if you're at Silver Elite and above, you are invited to be part of a Stampin' Up! Leaders Facebook group. And there's about 1700 of us in there. And someone posted complaining about, about the free shipping. <laughs> Cause of course, no, no one, you can't do anything without complaining. Right. <laughs> and they were like, well, my club just closed and I didn't know about the free shipping. And they now half of my club didn't get to do the free shipping, but the other half gets to do it. And I don't want to tell them about it because then they get free shipping and they don't get free shipping. I'm like, well, if you don't tell them about it, someone else is going to tell them. So don't be silly. But Sarah posted and she was like, She's like, but like with celebration, like it's uneven, like the people who get clubbed during celebration are going to get benefits that others don't like it. Life isn't always fair, like suck it up, buttercup. There's always something, you know, there's always a new thing. And I think every month, I mean, a bunch of my club members are here. I don't think anybody really feels like, oh, I didn't get a special thing because every month there's something special. I know. know. Oh, Oh, be back. Okay, we got it. Nope. Hey Terry, can you turn the mic off on one of your? I am. I'm trying. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> She's like, I'm working as hard as I can. <laughs> um. So yes. Yeah, so yay, free shipping on Thursday. Um. So like, I have a hostess who. Um, I did um, a class this weekend and we did a mystery hostess. So I drew a name, fun girl one. Um, so I'm going to reach out to her and the other people in her group and just say like, Hey, there's free shipping on Thursday. If you want to go ahead and push your order through, that would be a really good day to do it, you know, um, because they're going to do like direct order. Um, but yeah, like one of the girls placed her order on Saturday, she didn't get free shipping. Oh, well, you know, like such is life. Right. I mean, but- yeah, Mona was my hostess. She didn't get the 25, but I'm like going to make sure everybody's closed by Thursday so they get free shipping and she gets free shipping if she wants and whatever. So, yeah. Patsy, what so is a complaint? And, and that for the new folks, because it's $50 in product. Right. And right. not the tax. Correct. $50 in product. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, so, um, so that's good. And then I think we have what, 19 hours until the holiday catalog posts or so maybe 18 now (laughs) and counting, not that we're counting. Um, so that will post tomorrow, um, and with it, the celebration as well. So we'll see what the celebration offer is and we'll see the holiday catalog. Um, and then as of July one, we can start ordering and we can start earning celebration, new celebration, which is kind of wacky, um, but um, but really great and fun. And thanks, July will be fun. So Pepper seems excited about celebration. So I'm mm-hmm. excited. Um, she's like, yeah, I don't know what that is, but free stuff sounds good. Um, so, yay. so we're super excited about that. Um, and that's a big um, piece that's coming up. And so, um, I just wanted to point out, um, you know, on the Stampin' Up! website, and I'm going to share my screen. So on the Stampin' Up! Sh- uh, website, when you're on the front page, um, free shipping has a big banner, steal this banner you know, so that you can put it on your social media and stuff. I'll steal it for you and put it on ours too. Um, There's the countdown to- 
the mini, 18 hours, 43 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, and then the current updates, today's update was the save with free shipping. Also, please note that the mini jam jars are not meant to be for real canning of things. Um, somebody tried to use them and probably, yes, they're, they're, they're food safe. That doesn't mean you can actually can in them. I would have mercy. Um, and then I always go happening now, current promotions. I find this to be the easiest way to find all stuff. Um, a couple of things I wanted to draw your attention to. Um, the kit collection is here. Um, the celebration is here. So this says get ready to celebrate. And if you go here, there's a handout um, or you can just read, so you can print this. I printed it and I'm like ch literally checking it off, but it's like, all right, the first week, you know, set your goals. The second week, you know, make your introduction statement. The third week, you know, um, plan for a virtual celebration party. Um, the fourth week, um, do a future and benefit statement with an accountability partner. Um, you know, so right now, just to kind of orient you, we're in week three. Um, so I um, just wanted to kind of let you know what we've run. You're not too late to catch up. This is just meant to help you have a really great celebration. Um, and so we have to see what the celebration items are before we can do this whole feature and benefit thing, right? So, um, but this is nice. The checklist is nice. Um, I have a feeling this is also the page where they'll post like the celebration rewards that we get, like if you meet certain sales milestones and things like that. So just be watching the page. Um, and then I might hop on and do like a quick Facebook live when that comes out, just because to explain like how you earn celebration rewards as a demonstrator, in addition to the rewards that you get as a person placing an order if that makes sense. So you'll get celebration rewards on the orders you place, right? Like a free ribbon pack or, you know, whatever they're offering, right? But we're also rewarded as demonstrators on our total sales and celebration and on our number of recruits and celebration. And they give you extra product credits for that. And you usually can use those product credits on the new catalog, on the next catalog, which is really nice. So just be thinking about that. And when it comes out, I'll do a little video and I'll, you know, try to explain, walk everybody through that since we have so many new team members and people. And this new celebration is new for all of us <laughs> because we've never had this second one. Um, and then the only other thing I was gonna point out is that we do still have some last chance products. Um, so there's still items that are on sale and things that are gonna disappear. Um, the creative download is still available. Um, and I made something really cute. If you didn't see it the other night, um, I painted some Dutch shoes. They're super cute. Um, so the creative download's really fun. This is free for customers, for everybody. And then the July paper pumpkin has been announced. Um, and it is 12 cards. Um, and it features like a stacked or layered technique. So you can kind of see here in the image, they've got the trees that are kind of going back. Um, so just wanted to kind of draw your attention to that. Um, that's through July 10th. Um, so hey, um, I, yeah. Sorry, where did you go to get the um, social media images for Paper Pumpkin? Again, I always have a hard time finding that. Yeah. Yeah, so go to, you know, happening now and then current promotions. And then when you click on the July paper pumpkin, just scroll down and it's right there. Okay. And, there's and is there one that's recommended for the banner of a Facebook group? Yep, there's, there's banner images and there's square ones. And the way that you guys do that is you take a screenshot or you download the image and then load it. I download and then upload it. Download and then upload. Okay. Yep. Because sometimes I feel like when I try to add the banner image to my um, Facebook personal page, it um, doesn't look good on a mobile screen or vice versa. It looks good on a mobile screen, but not on a desktop screen. And so I was trying to find the workaround of what's the best way to use the file that works because one of them is like too big for the banner. It's like, oh, no, sorry, you did the wrong thing. Yeah, I usually, 
I usually use the banner image on my laptop and I upload okay. the banner in the Facebook and it works. Okay. Now I will say it's been a while since I looked at that banner on my phone. I mean, it's cropped a bit, but it's still, it's mine has the fruit on it. Oh gosh, here. I mean, okay. but it still works. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it definitely crops it, but I try to keep that paper pumpkin logo in the top right. Like that's usually pretty important. And then I kind of let the rest of it, like if they want to click on it, they can see the rest of it, you know? So, cause you have to pick that like viewable area, you know? So, um, but good question. Um, Do you remember what banner you use? It's there's a banner one, banner two, banner three. I haven't looked at these to see what the difference is. Banner two says the adventure begins. Banner one says inspire life's great new adventures. One has the date range. Banner two has the date range. Mm. Oh, I never realized that there were different banners. I thought they were just different sizes. No, they're they are actually different banners. Got it. Um, kind of weird. And they're always like slightly different. So like this one, this is banner one and it says subscribe and it has the date over here. And then banner two has the date here. And then banner three has the date over here and doesn't say subscribe. Got it. So, I mean, you can pick whichever one. I will say they are different. They look like they're scaled different though too, right? Yeah. So maybe this is the better one for Facebook, Banner 3. Yeah. I'll play around today and see. I might tell you, like I'll, I'll message you later which one, I, which one ends up fitting better. But yeah, they look right. scaled different too. So cool. yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, they told us that the sentiments are very like, your next adventure, life's an adventure, you know, like new phases of life. It could work for retirement, college, new jobs, you know, they gave us a hint on the video. So, um, good. What else? I'm just trying to remember all the things that are going on because there's not a thousand things going on. <laughs> there's always a lot going on. I saw lots of people participated in the trio challenge, which is great. So thumbs up. Um, so I'll draw a winner at the end of today. Um, and then the hostess with the mostest. I was the only one that participated in the hostess with the mostest. So <laughs> give myself a pat on the back. And then, um, so I found a hostess by offering a free class. Um, and then she, I sent her like I had an old paper pumpkin kit and she was like, well, I've actually got more people than that. And she was like, you know, do you have any other kits? And I was like, well, I've got this old like retiring kit um, that they won this last catalog. And she was like, okay. And she was like, well, how much per person? And I was like, well, in this case, you know, if I give a hostess class away for free, it's usually only like one or two cards, but this, they're making four cards each. I was like, oh, I probably should charge, you know? I said, well, $10 are free with an order. And she goes, great. That's a great deal. And I was like, all right. So I had the class a couple of weeks ago and um, it's her, like they have a little book club. And so they all get together and they're all buddies and um, there's five of them. And they ended up having a $450 party <laughs> and that was solid. Um, and they already had on, on the books to meet in two weeks. So I just saw them again last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and they had another party <laughs> and we're already at 250 for this one um and the lady that won um because we drew a person to be the hostess and then I, Hi. I still gave our physical hostess like a gift as well because I was like hey I want to you know thank her for having everybody at the house because we're still going to continue to get together at her house and they want to keep getting together. So this last time they ordered a bunch of kits and she texted me Saturday night. They were still there at midnight crafting. Oh. <laughs> they, 
Uh, they have, they, they got the bug, they've got the stupid bug and, um, super cute. And so, and I'm really excited because one of the ladies had like two, like, um, big shot, you know, whatever machines, I mean, a die cutting machine. So she let one of the other ladies borrow one. So now like I can see them getting into dies, right. Because now they've got access to a machine and they don't have to pay for one. Um, so like that one lady who like, she's she's funny. She's super high maintenance, but she, she's like, I don't want to get a machine, you know, she's like, but I do want to make this purse and I want to make it just like this that I want, you know, she was very funny. And so I was like, well, you're going to have to get the dyes then. But her friend, she didn't know it, but her friend had bought her that dress to impress stamp set that goes with it. Ah, nice. And so I was like, well, now you have to get the dyes because you've got the stamp set, you know? And I was like, and plus you really want to make this purse. And she already had seen the purse and loved it in like another catalog. So now when she saw this one with like that cheetah print, she was like sold. So, um, so it's good. It's good to meet new customers. And this is a lady who is a vendor. Um, she does cricket stuff and she's actually the one who made all of y'all's koozies last fall, the C to C stamp koozies. She's the one who made that koozie. So those that went to on stage, I think got a koozie last fall. And she, so that's what she does that. But then she whipped out a bunch of Stampin' Up stuff. She had old punches and stamp sets and people come back to Stampin' Up. Like what Charlene's saying, like I've been an, an on and off again, Stampin' Up customer, right? Since 2003, you're going to find a lot of people like that who've had exposure to Stampin' Up at some point. Maybe they walked away, they came back. Some of them might've been demonstrators before, right? You never know. And then that's when I found out that one of the ladies at that group, the one who won the hostess benefits used to have her own stamp company. I know. <laughs> oh, and she wrote a book on how to have your own craft business. <laughs> oh. So I'll be buying on Amazon, obviously. Um, so anyway, um, so now she has a company that does, um, like she prints on like tea towels and she makes like little gift baskets and stuff. It's really cute. Um, and um, so she has a lot of like cute stuff like that. And she's an illustrator and she does really cute work. And um, so anyway, so they're all, so I guess they were all there till midnight and they were trying to pressure her to sign up, poor girl. And so, cause you know, the minute you, you know, tell any one of your friends, I might be interested in doing this. They're like, okay, do it, do it, do it. So mm -hmm. anyway, so um, that's good. So I'm excited. Her name's Trisha. Um, so who knows, she might join our team. Um, but <laughs> you know, one hostess, one person, right? Just asking people, hey, do you have some friends who might wanna make a few cards? you know, ask, it doesn't hurt to ask, you know, and see what people say. I've got another lady who was like, Hey, not right now, but when the legislative season closes, like I'm on board, you know, I totally want to do it. So I'm like, cool, just hit me up, you know, let me know when you're done. Um, so it, you know, ask people because you just never know who might want to host us. Um, and again, you're getting exposure to people that aren't already in your network. Um, and that's what we need, right? We need new customers. Um, and so, and the other thing is to not be afraid to mention stuff. So we had the senior center class on Friday and I mentioned to Marion, one of our lovely ladies that attends the senior center thing, where I was talking about the snips and then the bone folder. And she ended up getting a pair of snips and a bone folder. And then it was so sweet. She said, oh, and I also got myself something fun. I got some self-adhesive snowflakes. It was so cute. She was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and you know she's gonna use the heck out of those you know like everything's gonna have snowflake sequences on it but um but that's you know that's the joy but I think not being ashamed of the products we have and why they're better I mean our snips are awesome like if you want to fussy cut something you need a pair of snips you know um and if you like that pick a tool I sold so many pick a tools on Saturday at that party y'all because many of them had acrylic nails and ladies with acrylic nails can not pick up sequins with acrylic nails. <laughs> Glue dots with bows. Yes. And <laughs> yes. And I used that spatula in three of them glued something down wrong and we had to undo three things. And when I did it once, they were like, um, could you like fix this? And I was like, yes, I can <laughs> like <laughs> hand it over, you know? And, um, man, they were so excited about that. So we have great stuff. And I think that that's, what's really important is just to, you know, share the tools we have, you know, um, lots of different kinds of crafters can, and can appreciate 
you know, the tools that we have. Um, so just don't forget that. But um, yeah, it was good. So, um, and then I'm starting a club here in the neighborhood. Um, so they had a lot of rules about clubs in the neighborhood and how you couldn't make money on them and you can't, you know, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the lady in charge of the clubs. I said, but if I'm going to do the projects, like I have to, I have to cover my costs. And she's like, oh yeah, you should charge a supply fee. And I'm like, oh, okay. But like, if you read the rules, you wouldn't have known that you could do that, you know? And so I might've been, I might've shied away from it. Right. If I hadn't just been like, Hey, you know, I'd love to do this, but, um, so I'm going to use those peach projects from Rhonda Wade's planner because I've got the peach paper. It's beautiful. It didn't fit in my calendar. Otherwise, like it wasn't part of my plan, but now I've got a cute audience that I think will like it, you know, and the peaches have seemed to prove to be really popular. So, um, so just things to think about, um, you know, what happens if the people say, well, I'd really like to get some of this paper. And, you know, so, I mean, I guess you have, you can kind of let them order on the side or whatever. Yeah. I mean, my plan is, is that I'm still going to do a door prize form. Um, so I can get their email address. And at that point I would feel comfortable like adding them to my email list. Um, and, um, I'll give away, you know, a nice door prize. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm going to bring catalogs because, if they want to order something, why wouldn't I tell them where I got it? If I got it at Michael's, I'd tell them I got it at Michael's, right? If I got it on Amazon, I'd share my Amazon link, you know, mm -hmm. like, why wouldn't I tell them this? Um, but I'll just leave it over on the side, right? Like, I'm not going to put a catalog at every table and I'm not going to, right? Like, I'm going to be more cash about it, you know, kind of like, mm -hmm. at the senior center too. like at the senior center, I never really pushed anything, you know? Um, but this time I did put like a link in my email back out to everybody. Cause I was like, well, if you want the snips, here they are. Mm -hmm. They're a great pair of scissors, you know? So is that in person or online? The senior center? No, the new group that you're doing. It's in person. Where? at our hub, like at the main <laughs> say the, at the, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could have it here at the house or I could have it at the thing. And what's interesting is, is when you have an official club with the neighborhood, you can rent the front area for free. Wow. Oh. That's awesome. That's so, great. Yeah. So, gotcha. yeah. So, um, so that's really cool. So I think, um, and then I have, to, I don't like this part, but I have to decide about masks and stuff. And I don't know. I was kind of hoping we'd have to follow their policies, right? Like you set the rules, it's your space. And she's like, yeah, but you're renting it. So it's your space. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, well, my sister works at a deli. I just talked to my sister yesterday in probably a month, but she works at a deli in New York. And she said that, and in New York is way stricter than Texas, but she said they're all vaccinated behind the counter and the boss started taking his mask off. And she said, I was breaking out and hot and sweaty. And she said, do we have to wear this mask? And so they actually even asked the health department that comes in to eat. And the health department said, it's your business. You decide what works for everyone. And if you, know, and if you have no masks and you're all vaccinated and people are comfortable coming in, you know, or if they're not, they won't come in. And the Board of Health eats there every single day. So it kind of gave me a new perspective on the whole mask thing, you yeah. know, with, with setting the, the, the guidelines for it. So, well, and it was interesting. I went into Starbucks the other day and it's like, if you're vaccinated, you cannot wear your mask. And Miriam was like, mom, you're vaccinated. You should take your mask off. And I was like, okay. And so I took, it feels off. funny though, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like no, it's just forever to get, I know it took us forever to get used to it. Um, but I took it off and I said, you know, this just feels weird. And the manager overheard me and she said, you know what? She goes, we're all vaccinated. And she's like, we're good. You, you do you, you know? And I was like, okay, cool. Like, all right, I feel comfortable, you know? So I think that, you know, it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, as, as things roll out, right. As we start doing things, the senior center is going to be in person next month. <laughs> So that'll be interesting. And so what I've told them is I said, look, there will be those that want to come in person and there's going to be those that aren't comfortable. I'll continue to prep packets for those that aren't comfortable. 
and I'll pre-tape a workshop for them. Um, but I'm not going to do a live Zoom as well. Um, and it was really sweet. Um, one of the, Marian, the lady, she goes, well, why can't you just do a Zoom like while you're teaching the class at the senior center? <laughs> And I said, I think we all figured it figured out. That just doesn't work. I know. I was like, it's too hard. No, I was like, we tried to do that. It did not go well. <laughs> I was like, I've learned my lesson. We tried to do that with Candy last year. It didn't go well, you know. And we just that was our determining point to say, no, I can only pay attention to one group of people. And at that point, I could not. I did neither group a service. You know, everybody got the worst end. You know. So I think that lessons learned, right? Things we figure out, you know, so for them, I'll just pre-tape something and then do that. So, um, but then they still get their packet and they still get to make a fun project. So, um, okay. Um, one thing, I don't know if you mentioned Melissa that I, I just saw, and I was telling Jill, um, July 1st is the DSP sale also. Oh, that's right. I knew there was something else. And so just for the people, and I told Mona earlier today about just the 10% I don't even remember what we were talking about. Oh, that like any anything that you buy in clearance rack, you also get your discount on, right? Yeah. And so with the DSP, it's 15% off as of July 1st, but with your discount also, that comes to 35% off for paper. And then if you if you're um, bronze elite, then it's uh, 40% off. So, yeah, one day deal. No, it's uh, no entire month of July. Oh, that's a good seven idea. one to eight two. I think it was, mm -hmm. and it's not going to be every pack. We know that they said select packs, of course. So you know that that artisan expression won't be included, right? Like, um, because that's a specialty pack. Generally, they exclude specialty packs. Um, it's usually the eleven fifty packs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be like the the wood, the tree. I don't know what that one's called, but the trees, the, the seashells, the seashells. No, that'll be gone. Yeah. Um, to retire, so my like girl. If you need, if you want seashells, you better get your seashells now. No, no you know, no. I just got it on my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the it'll be like probably the peach paper right Peaches, that's yeah. 11 .50? yeah i hope they get in the um yeah. the um alcohol ink one before then because that's been on back order i know yeah um what is it and, called yeah uh, the plants the the, 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 mm -hmm, the beauty plant. of the earth paper mm -hmm. the pansies yeah I mean, I think all the rest will be. I think the the elegantly whatever, I don't think that'll be included because that's a specialty one too. So it's from um, the new manual catalog. New um, on, on the subject of paper, um, I have a customer who would like some, uh, if there's any available, um, I'll pick it up at retreat or you can mail it. Someone I know is looking for poppy paper. Oh. Is anyone sitting on any extra poppy paper? Let me tell you oh, what, it so should be regular retail. If I can pick it up at retreat, she'll pay retail. Let me look and see. Jill and I might Jill and I might have some. I don't know. I think I might have some. It's the the was it like the peaceful poppies or whatever yeah. poppies it was? It's a lot yeah. of reds and check. purples and yeah, just check and let me know what you got and okay. and we'll just well something. Probably okay. take everything you guys got, but okay. Let's look and see. And that's Terry. You can post on our group for that too. Is it all right to do that. Yeah. That's okay. Good. I'll do that. Thanks. Yeah. If I'm searching for a particularly good customer for something and I know that like somebody might have it, I'm happy to post that on the group. I think that's fine. I don't okay. know that I would post it on Candy's group, but I definitely you can post it in ours. And I think we've all got right. people now that we can source. <laughs> Patsy Palmer just pulled out pieces. I just saw it. So, okay. yep. Mm -hmm. You know what? Um, price me, price me by the sheet. Yeah, okay. yeah. four sheets. Okay. So, yeah, I think we probably all got a little bit of it. I think we all used a lot of it, but I don't know though. I, I'm looking at my stack. I might not have any. I might have. I might have used I have to look at mine. I might have a pack. So. I don't know. That's one of the ones I used to death too. I know. I used it a lot. So <laughs> there's some that are just like crazy. So uh, the paper that's going on sale is in the current catalog. It'll be in the current annual. Okay. 
So not the mini that's disappearing in like a week. So yeah, great. Okay. Yeah. So good. Um, okay. I'm going to stop the recording. Anything else for the good of the order? I have something. Okay. Sure. Tomorrow is Sarah's birthday. <gasps> oh. I was trying to slip that by. <laughs> We actually had a ton of June birthdays, so I need to post a graphic. I sent cards to everybody, and then we have a ton of July birthdays, too, and I sent all the July birthday cards as well already. I'm so proud of myself. So um, June and July, you got your cards, uh, which is part of my trio challenge stuff that I sent out. But um, yeah, a little happy birthday. So what do you think? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, um, well, happy birthday. Um, what a month. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. Sort of get to the order. Let's see.